Ever wondered how Charles Bukowski, a man who once said don't try, became a renowned 20th century American writer? Charles Bukowski's tale is a call to adventure, a journey marked by trials and tribulations that shaped him into an iconic figure in literature. Born into a world of hardship, the young Bukowski was no stranger to abuse, isolation and physical ailments. The shadows of his tumultuous childhood loomed large, but amidst the chaos he found solace in the written word. His initial attempts at writing however were met with rejection and failure, a harsh reality that led him to abandon his passion for the drudgery of blue-collar jobs. Yet, even in the depths of despair, the call to adventure is often the loudest. For Bukowski, the world of letters was a siren song he couldn't ignore. Bukowski's initial journey into the literary world was far from successful. But his story was just beginning. Bukowski's life took a dramatic turn when he encountered a near-death experience. It shook him to his core, pushing him to revisit the passion he had once abandoned. Picking up the pen again, he found solace, an outlet for his pent-up emotions and the harsh realities of life. Bukowski, a man of grit and determination, returned to writing, but the path was far from smooth. He faced a string of rejections, a cascade of no's that would have broken a less determined man. His words, raw and unfiltered, were too much for the genteel literary world of his time, Yet, Bukowski didn't let the rejection letters deter him. Instead, he wore them like badges of honor, symbols of his commitment to his craft. He was a man who chose authenticity over popular appeal, who preferred to be true to his voice rather than conform to the expectations of the literary world. His days were consumed by the monotony of his job at the post office, a job that was as far removed from his passion as it could possibly be. But he didn't let the drudgery of his day job take away from his writing, Instead, he used it as fuel, as raw material for his work. Every spare moment was spent writing, every lunch break, every moment before and after his shift. His dedication was unwavering, his resolve unshakable. Bukowski's life was a testament to endurance. He was a man who walked through fire, who braved the storm, who faced adversity head on. His struggles were mighty, his trials numerous, but his spirit remained indomitable. His life was a constant battle a relentless struggle against the odds. His writing was his refuge, his sanctuary. It was where he found solace, where he could bear his soul without fear of judgment. It was his lifeline, his escape from the harsh realities of his life. His words were his weapons, his shield against the world. Bukowski's persistence seemed futile, but he refused to give in. His story is a testament to the power of perseverance, the strength of the human spirit, and the unyielding belief in one's own abilities. His life, a journey of trials and crisis is a testament to the power of passion and the relentless pursuit of one's dreams. At the age of 50, Bukowski's life took a surprising turn. As the calendar pages fluttered by, Bukowski, the man who had for so long been a stranger to recognition, began to see the world take notice of his work. This was the time when Bukowski's relentless dedication to his craft began to pay off. The world of literature which had once turned a blind eye to his raw and unfiltered prose now found itself captivated by his words. His writings, a reflection of his trials and tribulations resonated with readers who found solace and understanding in his penned experiences. It was as if Bukowski had unearthed a treasure chest of recognition that had been buried under years of rejection and hardship. His works, now celebrated, were a testament to the fact that it's never too late to realize one's dreams. But who knew this was not the end of the story, but merely the beginning of an exciting new chapter. Bukowski's success was not limited to his hometown or even his country. His words spread across oceans, reaching millions of readers worldwide. His books started flying off the shelves, his poetry recited in hushed tones in dimly lit cafes, and his name etched into the annals of literary history. And it doesn't stop there. Bukowski's words were not just read, but lived. His philosophy of life, as raw and real as his prose, began influencing people, guiding them through their own trials, and inspiring them to remain true to their passions and dreams. But that's not all. Bukowski's success story was not just about his recognition as a writer. It was a tale of endurance, of staying true to one's craft, despite the odds. It was a reminder that success is not always immediate, that it often comes after years, even decades of tireless work and unwavering dedication. Bukowski had finally found his treasure, but the journey was far from over. His success was a testament to his perseverance and his unwavering commitment to his craft. His story serves as a beacon of hope for all those who dare to dream, 
reminding us that it's never too late to pursue our passions and find our own treasure. With success came the opportunity for Bukowski to reflect on his journey. It was a journey fraught with hardships but one that led him to a profound understanding of his purpose and passion. Now, basking in the glow of recognition, he found himself in a position to impart wisdom and inspire others with his life's philosophy. Bukowski's philosophy was rooted in authenticity. He believed that the true essence of a person is revealed when they are not trying to be something else, when they are not bending to societal pressures or trying to fit into a mold. Be yourself, he would say, and let the world adjust. He emphasized that this authenticity should be mirrored in one's creative endeavors. To him, writing was not about producing bestsellers or winning accolades, it was about being true to oneself, about pouring one's soul onto the page. He believed that when one writes from the heart with honesty and raw emotion, the words resonate with the reader on a deeper, more meaningful level. Perhaps the most iconic representation of Bukowski's philosophy is etched on his gravestone, don't try. At first glance it might seem like a counsel of despair, a call to give up. But delve deeper, and you'll realize it's a profound statement about passion and purpose. Bukowski believed that if you're truly passionate about something, you shouldn't have to try or force yourself to do it. It should come naturally, like breathing. Bukowski's new life was marked by a profound understanding of his purpose and passion. He had found his calling in the written word, in the power of raw, unfiltered emotion to connect with readers. He had discovered that success is not measured in accolades or recognition, but in the ability to stay true to oneself and one's craft, through the trials and tribulations of life. And so Bukowski returned to the world, not as the struggling writer or the post office worker, but as a beacon of authenticity and dedication. He embodied the belief that success often comes through endurance, honesty, and unwavering commitment to one's craft. His journey serves as a timeless testament to the power of persistence, the beauty of authenticity, and the magic of finding one's true passion. Bukowski's new life was marked by a profound understanding of his purpose and passion. So what can we learn from Bukowski's life and his philosophy of don't try? Let's recap the key points. Charles Bukowski, a man who faced a harsh childhood labored in blue-collar jobs and found success in his 50s, taught us that endurance, honesty, and unwavering dedication to one's craft are the cornerstones of achievement. The phrase, don't try, etched on his grave, isn't a call for inaction but a reminder that true passion and purpose flow naturally. They don't need to be forced or contrived. Bukowski's life is a testament to the power of authenticity and commitment. He didn't write to be famous or rich, he wrote because it resonated with him. And when he finally found recognition, it was on his own terms. His journey wasn't easy or straightforward but it was undeniably his own. Remember Bukowski's journey and his timeless advice, true passion and purpose shouldn't require effort or forced motivation. Pursue what truly resonates with you. After all, as Bukowski showed us, it's never too late to find your treasure.